What is going on everybody? My name is Mitch Tabian and this is going to be the first of my uh, Java tutorials. Uh, in, my, in my Java tutorials I'm going to be showing you guys some intermediate stuff. I'm not really going to start with some with the beginner stuff. Um, and I'm also not going to show you how to download or install Eclipse. I'm actually just going to give you a link because this video, this video does a really good job I think and I couldn't do it better so uh, I'll put it in the description too. Uh, there's a couple issues too that you can run into when you're when you're downloading and installing clips and this guy addresses them so it's a, just a, it's a good video so the first thing we are going to do in this video is create a list class and then use that class so I'll go ahead and start a new project so these these tutorials are going to be good if you already have some Java knowledge it'll be even it'll even be okay if you're if you're a beginner but you're not going to get as much out of it, I don't think. Alright, let's cut. Yeah, it's going to be tutorials, I guess. And I'll be using Java 8. Sure. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is create a package so I can keep this organized. We're going to call it the lists. Then we'll create a new class. And we'll call the new class to uh, we'll call it a list class. All that's fine. So basically here I'm gonna write a class called list and it's gonna be what we can use in our uh, in our tester class to make lists out of and store data. So the first thing we're going to do is put your variable in there, and this is just kind of a it's a it's a blank variable because it's going to be any type. So we're just going to throw a T in there, and this is going to be our data. And size and position. Yeah. Then we're going to create our list here, integer, number of objects, oops, that's why, hard to get take, there we go. Size will equal the number of objects. And the position the starting. This is to declare the initial conditions when you first create the list. So every new list is you gonna pass it a number. How big the list is. It's gonna start at position zero, and the data is gonna be of whatever type you declare it to be. So we're just saying type T, and you'll declare it. And it's, it'll be get created with this size. Then we're going to create our add method. Add, uh, I guess we'll just say objects. Whoops. Add t object. So it's going to be a type t once again. T is just a blank, like a default. No, not a default, like a, it can be any type. So every time we add a new object to our list, the data, the new the new object will get stored in the in the data at this position, and then the position will increment. And then we're going to create a two string method. String two string and then string we'll say object and then the object 
object will get added to the data at that position and we'll put a space there so it doesn't look stupid and then we'll return the object so there we go so now we'll create our tester class so we can t so we can create a list and actually take a look at it and use it so a new class and we'll just call it our list tester and I'm gonna click on this because we know we're going to use the public static void main. So the first thing we'll do is create a list. It's going to be a string type. So now you can see how we're, we're, we're declaring our list right here and we're passing it the type because it's we have a dummy type in here. So it's going to be a type string and we'll just call it a, I don't know, people list the list of string type and then we pass it the size because if we go back to our list class after we've created it we have to throw it we have to declare the size and it's an integer so number the number of objects it's going to contain so we're going to say it's going to have 10 objects and then we can use our add method that we created so people list dot add and you can see right here it's popping up because I create we created that and then we pass the object and we'll call it I don't know my name is uh, Mitch because that's a sweet name we'll pass it that and we can copy this and we can add some other people I don't know Gary sure I don't know if Gary's that cool of a name it's alright it's not as cool as Mitch and then we'll put I don't know Raymond and so so yeah so important to note that you don't actually have to use all 10 objects you can just add as many as you want but it's gonna have a maximum size of 10 and my brother's name Blake so let's throw Blake in there and I don't know uh, maybe Jess sure so then we want to take a look at our people list just to make sure it's uh, working properly so we can go um, the people in the list are space and then concatenate and we can go and use our other method our two string method right here which is going to display everybody in the list so people list dot two string just like that so we could run this and there we go the people in the list are Mitch, Gary, Raymond, Blake, Jess uh, if we wanted to actually make it look a little better we could do a new line here Yeah, just put a new line there. Let's get rid of this. On that. There we go. So now we can see that they'll all display on a new line. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. Short and sweet. I uh, hope you learned something. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, Java tutorials. So if you want to learn Java for free, keep on watching.